So good. So juicy. Oh, spicy. <laughs> okay. Mm. Hey, good evening everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you live from Meghalaya, India, Northeast India. Right now we're driving back from Bangladesh border all the way up to Shillong, and on the way we're gonna stop and eat some delicious delicacies. We're gonna eat some blood sausage in one town, and then we're going to another place, and there we're gonna have some Chinese food. Chinese food is really big here in Meghalaya. They love Chinese food. This guy behind me, Paul, was telling me that it's so good here. Basically, most Kasi people will love to eat Chinese, like momo chow. We have a uh, fried or soupy chow. So that's the thing that people out here will love to eat here in Chilam. Okay, so it's it's the same village that we visited a few days ago when we went over to Chalapunji. It's on the route, so you have to take this road to get back to Shillong, and it's right there. So from here, it's about an hour to the blood sausage place, and then another like 30, 40 minutes to the place of Chinese food. And yeah, this is what Meghalaya looks like. Lots of mountains, Scotland to the east. You know, it, it's so beautiful out here. It's so different. The only other place I was telling him that it reminds me of is like Lesotho, the Sky Kingdom of Africa, which is in the country of South Africa. But yeah, beautiful sun setting right now, and I'm starving. Again. Wow, we're stopping for a quick sunset spot. Look at this. It's an amazing sunset, you know? I just love it. <laughs> Sky loves everything. <laughs> no, but it really is amazing because you have the mountains behind you. I mean, look at that. It's just incredible. You have a lot of fog too. Very green here. Look at this. Woo! Woo! I hear myself. <laughs> called La Lincot. La Lincot. Yeah. And where is the Marcia? Oh, there it is. There it is. Wow. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> so people actually come here just for the blood sausage and the meat. Yeah, the pork meat, actually. They, so they drive from Shillong, but Shillong's not that far. It's an hour, right? Yeah, it's an hour. It's only an hour. That's not bad. Man, this blood sausage looks so good. She's She basically, people are here from Shillong. They're ordering it. She's picking it up. She's bringing on the banana leaf, right? Is that banana leaf? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Banana leaf and then she's basically dicing it up into small pieces. Wow. How much is it? How much is it? 60 rupees. Uh, 70. 70. 70 rupees? 250 yeah. grams. 250 grams. 250 grams for one US dollar. This lady is very popular. Everybody's coming here to buy. They come from Shilong. Can you imagine? And it only costs 70, as I said before. 70 rupees and you get a lot of blood sausage. The blood sausage looks so good. It's a little different and what they did is they put like some pepper, they put like some chili, uh, I don't know what else they put, but it looks incredible and they wrap it in this banana leaf. Wow, and the ladies, I mean, she pulls it out. It's long, super long. You ask for whatever you want. It starts at 250 grams for 70 rupees and you can go up from there. She's running out though, so luckily we got here in time. Let me get some with the chili. Oh, oh, it's still a little hot. Mm. Damn, so good, so juicy. Oh, spicy. <laughs> okay. Mm. Wow, good real street food. Mm. Nice intestines, lots of blood in there. Mm. There's something about blood sausage. You know, a lot of people think it's disgusting, or think it's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing for anyone who loves it. Keeps putting it in. <laughs> and basically she cooks it in there, right? Yeah. Wow. Can't even believe this, man. This is so good. This is one of the things that, it's like one of my favorite things on the planet. A lot of people think it's really big. You know, my wife is like, I hate blood sausage. I'm like, no, give me that blood sausage. I need it. The good thing here is that the blood sausage just is basically intestines and that's it and blood. No rice. Mm. And then if it's too hot for you, you have a little onion. Come on the heat. Damn man, is this all for me? Yep. The hand of God. Joking, joking, joking. <laughs> it's like too good. 
to go? This is so freaking delicious. Mmm. Dude, I stuffed myself. <laughs> I had it all myself. I know, you love it. I really do love it. Let's go. Dude, that was way, way, way better. Like, the blood sausage was too good. I, that's what too he good. was saying. It was addictive, actually. Yeah. Wow. There's something about blood sausage. Yeah. My dad brought me up with that stuff. He was doing like the barbecue. Yeah. And he get the blood sausage, and I was like, oh, uh, all day, give me that scab. <laughs> it's a big scab, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, Meghalaya, the name itself is from a Sanskrit word. It's given by Indira Gandhi, the late prime minister. The word itself, it's, uh, it means above the clouds because of a lot of clouds you can see around Meghalaya because of the rainy seasons that we have out here. Uh, the region itself is divided into three tribes, the Jaintia, the Garo and the Khasi. Uh, the major tribes, uh, these are the major tribes uh, like I just mentioned about. So you can see the high plateau region belonging to the Khasi mostly. Then we go down to the Garo, they have the one of the highest peak is called the Nokrek. And to the Jaintia Hills, there are actually a lot of coal mine that is going on out there. So that is a, the whole story or the whole part about Meghalaya. We are now arriving in Milam and we're going to have some Chinese food for dinner. Chinese food, I haven't really had Chinese food in Meghalaya yet, nothing. I've had Chinese food in India before, uh, but it's more like Indo-Chinese where they put paneer, with paneer chili, which is my favorite dish. All right. It's amazing, it's so spicy, it's delicious. But yeah, I'm excited to try some some uh, some chow, some chow. Some chow. Chow chow, chow yeah, chow. Chow is the best, and you can try chicken chow too. Yeah? Yeah, and also we can ha try the dumplings. This is Solana Hut restaurant. Yep. Indian, Chinese, and Kasi cuisine. Yeah. Give me some Chinese, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big place, huh? I mean, multiple levels. Wow. A lot of different dining halls. Ooh, it's chilly, man. Oh, God. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect, dude. Yeah. A fire. Yeah, they do. Okay, we'll have pork chow. Yeah, pork chow. All right. You want one fried pork chow? I rather not soup. I rather like okay. the paneer chili. The paneer right. chili is the best. Paneer chili, okay, get that. Chili, chili paneer. Chili paneer. Right? Pork chow with mushroom. Oh, it's really cold in here. Um, so tonight we are eating Chinese food, right? Here I got my favorite Indo-Chinese dish of all time, paneer chili. It's super spicy. Nice cottage cheese. They put some pepper. They put some spring onion. This is phenomenal. I can't wait to try this one because it's different. And then here we have the chow, pork chow, and. Yeah, look at that. So, pork with noodles, pick that up. Oh yeah, grab a lot of it right there. Look at this. You get some of this right here, paneer. I love this dish. This is so good. I had this dish the first time in Yuhu Beach, Mumbai, and I fell in love. You chow first? Yep. Mm. Straight noodles, huh? They're like fine noodles. Yeah. Almost like glass noodles. Has a very Chinese taste, very oily, nice pork. And you said to put some of the sauce, right? One of these? Yeah, one of those. This one? Yeah, you can try that. That's a bit spicy. A bit spicy? Yeah. Well, spicy is my middle name, man. Mmm, <laughs> it's a bit spicy. These noodles remind me a lot like the noodle I would get like at a Chinese Restaurant, like a wok style. Yeah, right? they, they are wok fried. They're wok fried? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, they're so good. Mm. It feels like I'm in China. Straight up, it does. The pork is this like juicy, fatty taste throughout. You can feel the fat of the pork in the noodles. They cook it together, right? Yeah, they cook it together. Mm. Damn, this is so good. I haven't had Chinese food like this before. I told you, you love it. It's very different. Over here, paneer chili. Mm. Oh man. Oh, has this nice glazy, like red sauce with chili. It's a nice mix of spices in here. The sauce really feels like a Chinese, um, almost like the sauce they use with the duck. Yeah. Like a super red thick sauce. Yeah. Mm. They also cook this on the wok, right? Yeah, they cook in the wok. This is one dish that when you come to India, 
You have to try. No matter where you go in India, you can find it. Paneer chili. Mmm. Um, it wouldn't be a restaurant in Mecca without the, well, all the peppers, right? All the chilies. Yeah, all the chilies. Woo! Woo, that one's hot. Oh my god. <laughs> Too hot. Yeah, mm. I told you. What is up with this dish? Uh, here, there's another chutney. Uh, another chutney? There, yeah, another sauce. It's called a momo sauce always. So you momo can have, sauce. Yeah. So get some more of this, right? Yeah, I'd get more of that. It's gonna put a little bit. I'm already getting full. Yeah. Like a very spicy chutney. This is for the momos, but they also give it to us for the noodles. So I'm just gonna grab a big slab like that, just drench it and mix it. Man, I love how tender that pork was, though. Mmm. It was hot. I mm. know. It's like hot. It's not like killing me, but my sinus is opening up for sure. <laughs> Mm. Indo Chinese is not like this. This is more like Chinese Chinese. Chinese Chinese. Good to know. I've been to China, but it's been a while. I'm actually going to China next month, so I'll eat a lot of this soon. Nice and spicy. But this is a star right here. No one wants been here. Oh, you want? Okay. Dude, have it all. Wow, you like really bathe it in. Yeah. <laughs> so much. Yep. Penny's the best. I, I love it. I just love it. I love noodles actually. I love it more than rice actually. <laughs> I love you too, dude. I love you too. <laughs> like the noodles are fine, but the pork, it's like, I think it's like, is it like dried pork or something? No, 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 no right? No, I have to go with this hot sauce, dude. Right there, boom. Just drench it in spiciness. The hot sauce is really nice. It, it almost feels like a sriracha. Red tea? Yeah, red tea. You love it? Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thanks for the great days. Thank you. And thank you for your great time being here, David. No problem. Four epic days in Meghalaya. Yeah. Good food? Good food. Do you come here a lot? Yeah, I do come here. All right, yeah, the food was phenomenal. Uh, I think the noodles were good. They weren't my favorites. They weren't, they weren't like top 10 in my lifetime, but the paneer chili was so, so good, so good. <laughs> I mean, it's just so delicious. The cottage cheese just like falls apart, like crumbles apart with spice. Oh, the texture is like super soft. Yeah. It's like it's like your teeth just go like through like butter, like a knife, like <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> oh man. And guys, yeah, so we're gonna continue our trip to Shillong and we have about a 30 minute drive, right? Yeah, That's almost. It. All right. Less than 30 minutes now, if the traffic is clear. After a quick 25 minute drive, we made it back here to Shillong, the capital of Minagaya, and we had such an incredible day today. I mean, I gotta say though, the food was so good. The morcilla, the morcilla, what am I saying? The blood sausage. The blood sausage. The blood sausage is my favorite. All right. Paneer chili, and then the chow. All right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that's how it has to be for me in the for list. For you, but yeah, yeah definitely. But it, I, it depends on personally, you know? Yeah, personal yeah. taste. taste. Yeah, yeah personal you guys taste. love Chinese food. Yeah, we I love, love Chinese, Chinese food, food too. Yeah, in Shillong. But just that one, the chow. Yeah. It was, it, it just didn't have what I wanted. All right, all right. Yeah. I think okay. I needed the spices to be in it instead yeah. of adding on top. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. We gotta thank our boy, Paul, for the incredible experience. Without him, this wouldn't have been possible. And subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Assam, India. Yeah.